As ice in the Arctic melts, polar bears are retreating to land. Scientists with the Alaska Science Center confirmed this when they measured the movements and behavior of polar bears in a study conducted from 2019 to 2022. Now in the study, researchers strapped cameras around collars of 20 polar bears from August to September as the ice-free period increased. Well, their cameras recorded 115 hours of footage and found the bears were indeed spending more time on land. The bears ate berries, vegetation and birds, but the findings say there is still a risk of starvation. And joining me now is Anthony Pagano, the scientist behind that study. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, so if I'm trying to summarize the issue that was driving your study, climate change means less sea ice, which means polar bears have less opportunity to hunt their most important food source, which is seals. And you want to know if polar bears might be able to adapt and get enough food from eating land-based animals, you know, birds, eggs, you know, grasses, mammals. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. What we know is that polar bears are increasingly relying on summer land use across many parts of their range due to climate warming. And we wanted to evaluate if land-based foods could potentially supplement uh, the period that they're on land. All right. So why did you decide on, on this particularly uh, innovative method, the, the bear cam? Yeah, so there's there's been... Uh, a, bit, a bit of research on polar bears and their behavior on land, and we've had sort of anecdotal information about what they do. Um, some of the historical documentation indicated that they primarily rested while on land. Some more recent observations have suggested that some bears are feeding on a variety of foods on land. But we wanted to actually um, study certain individuals and quantify what their behavior was using these video collars where we could um, document what they were doing on land, how active they were, what they were eating, and simultaneously measure their energy expenditure and their changes in body weight to determine whether or not those land-based foods might serve as a benefit to them. All right, so that data, I mean, it, we're showing some excerpts there. I mean, some of it is just absolutely amazing. I remember the, the female swimming while carrying a seal carcass, and then uh, uh, there were a couple of males there sort of hanging out in the ocean like they were together in a, a jacuzzi. What surprised you the most? Yeah, definitely the, some of the long-distance swims that we documented were, were quite surprising. We've documented bears in other regions of the Arctic that make long swims, but that's typically when there's sea ice present. In this area, the ice melts away completely and there is no ice present in the bay during this time of year. So we weren't expecting the bears to go out into the water. Um, we found um, one bear made a swim of about 175 kilometers. Another bear swam about 110 kilometers in total. Um, two of those bears found marine mammal carcasses that they um, fed fairly minimally from. Um, one bear tried to swim a seal carcass back to shore before eventually dropping it, which um, suggested to us that these bears probably can't eat while they're swimming, mm. um, which was really surprising.